Yo, what is up? Back in Pennsylvania, the two week training camp in Cali. That was fun. Uh, last week I didn't really vlog because I was busy doing team testing for Greece, which it looks really good. And uh, yeah, I was also tired. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good two week, it was me overall three week block for those last two weeks there. We're fire. <clears throat> now the team testing I had to do is we had to do a uh, fatigue resistance workout. Basically we wanted to ride three and a half hours at like zone two, zone three, you know, get like 3,000 to 3,500 kilojoule burn. And then do uh, three by six minute efforts all out. So those, uh, I'm not gonna lie, they hurt. I mean, the first one wasn't bad. The second one was like, ouchy. And then the third one hurt a lot. Um, so the first one, I think I was about, I don't know, 425, 430. Second one was like a 10 watt drop, which is to be expected with the fatigue resistance and max efforts. And then the third one was another 10 watt drop. I think the third one was like 400 watts, but I was also on a climb and I was trying to beat my KOM. So then the climb itself was seven and a half minutes total. So after I did the six minutes, I just hung on and just went as deep as I could to get to the top. Missed my own KOM by a minute or a second but I did hold 400 for seven and a half on the last one up the climb. So that's huge. The other testing we had to do as a team was uh, we did three by eight minute efforts fresh. So for me, I'm doing things on the beginning of my third week of my block. So like, do my legs are, <laughs> I wouldn't say fresh, but I was super happy with the numbers. Had I been fresh, I'd love to see what they would be, but regardless, eight minutes, first two, I was about 400 to 405, and then the last one, I was about 390. So, really good eight minute testing. Um, yeah, do that. That testing's hard. That day, like, whoops me. Just being fatigued. And then doing it afterwards, I was like, oh. So that's, it is what it is. But anyways, today we're on a rest week, but uh, getting back into training today, it's now Thursday. So to start the rest week, I took three days off. I actually took Sunday off. I was pretty fatigued from uh, just overall training. And then uh, Monday I traveled home, got in super late. Tuesdays, we kind of went for a walk took that day off too. Yesterday was my first day back on the bike. Felt good. Today, I'm doing uh, some hard start threshold intervals. So two minutes at VO2 and then I think, I believe it's settle in six minutes at a threshold. So you should be good. See how the legs feel. Boy, those are fun. Those went good. Uh, my legs were actually kind of opened up a little bit. Um, first two, I kind of just like cruised them. It was like 410, 415-ish on like the two minute efforts. And then I would settle in about 365 for the six minutes. They were good, the last one I got after. Last one I was like 425 and 375. Super happy. Things are clicking right now. So I want to give an update on my stomach issues. We I talked about this. If you have, if you're new, like something I talked about probably back in November. Um, so I've changed my diet to where I try to limit gluten. Pretty much, I'm just trying to not eat gluten. Sure, I have it every now and then, but 
I'm trying to just go gluten free. <laughs> and since doing that, I've had lots of success. Uh, I don't have any bloating, my stomach. I mean, three days off, and then this is my first day back and I'm doing hard, like super threshold stuff. Usually I'd be like, oh my gosh, dude, my stomach is so angry. I can't do this. But again, not going gluten has kind of been the answer. So I'm just sticking with that. No breads, staying away from pasta, doing rice. I'm doing some grains, but gluten-free like oats, things like that. Um, it's kind of interesting. I think that's the secret recipe now. Super solid day. Um, feels good to have a couple of days off, rest, recover, and then jump back on the bike. Um, let's talk about grease. So I mentioned the team testing. So testing went really well for me. Uh, I was happy with my results. My coach was, he was like, I knew you'd do those numbers. He's like, if you're fresh, they would have been better. And I was like, wow, okay. So he's got a lot of confidence in me. I'm confident in myself. Uh, our performance director, super happy with the numbers. And I mean, it goes deeper than that too for selections. Numbers is part of the game. You know, they take into account pack skills and experience and you know, how the team dynamic is, things like that. But with all that said and done, uh, I've been selected for uh, Greece. So I will leave February 27th to head to the island of Rhodes for three weeks. Um, each weekend we got, uh, like the first weekend's a two day stage race, next weekend's a one day, the weekend after that is like a four day stage race. So I'm pretty excited about, uh, yeah, making team selection and going to Greece. So I just don't need to get sick. I'll do my best to stay healthy between now and then. So knock on carbon, knock on wood, whatever you wanna do. Uh, and it just kind of shows the hard work paying off. So if you've been following this journey on this vlog, you've noticed, dude, I have, I have days where I feel unbelievable. Things are clicking, things are going so well. And then I have days where so things aren't going well and you know, I have issues and I run into some roadblocks. But I think the, the real difference between being a professional is understanding that those will happen and mentally finding a way to solve the issue and move on around it. And that's what I've been doing. Um, my coach is a great support system. My wife has a great support system. Uh, our management team of our team is a great support system. So um, just thank you to everyone. And obviously y'all watching the video, I mean, you guys are cheering me on and giving me support along the way. I I highly appreciate that. So yeah, that's kind of uh, where I'm at right now. Um, wrap this up and recover and rest day tomorrow and then get after it this weekend. But anyways, thanks for uh, watching. Hope you guys keep riding and training hard. I'll see you guys in the next one.